375. You guys okay? Is there anybody with injuries? Are you there? I'm receiving a 314 now. A building collapse at 88 and Collins. 34. I'm arrival here. There's a lot of dust. I can barely see anything. Is anybody there? The Empire Empire's already around on the three. Is That's anybody there? Yes, I'm arrival. Uh, 87 Terrace and Collins. Police! Um, I just had a fire center tell me that the uh, part of the building collapsed. So I'm pulling up that. Yes, QSL. So your arrival there. And units Terrace till they can advise. Any additional certified units on that can respond? Oh. Oh, hello? Where are you? Are you okay? No. Are you okay? No. Are you okay? Yeah. Is anybody down there injured? No. What's wrong with her? Give me a second, I'm gonna go around. Well, I can't see anything, man. We're still trying to make our way to the okay. eight seven terrace and call it. Yeah, and um, if we could have anybody from Miami Beach can uh, get 15 with us as well, please. No. I went in, I could, when I got here, I could see it. There was all this stuff everywhere. Yeah. Hey, everybody! Right now, I need you guys to head north, past 90th Street. Street. Everybody, right now, north! We're following breaking news from South Florida. Emergency crews called to the town of Surfside after a high-rise building apparently collapsed. And so it's all hands on deck with rescue efforts. We can tell you all this happened early this morning. A partial building collapsed near 88th Street and Collins Avenue. You could see the... I received a call from uh, the acting supervisor that night, which is Craig Cub Lovelet, uh, right around 1.30 in the morning. Captain, hey, we uh, the Champlain Towers... The building, it collapsed. The, the Champlain Towers building collapsed. The back part of the building collapsed. I kind of like shook my head for a second, trying to wake up to make sure that I heard what I heard. And I go, I'm sorry, we had a what? He goes, the Champlain Towers building has collapsed. Get fire, fire rescues on, on their way. This is huge. I mean, humongous. A quarter of it appears to be gone. Now, of course, you don't know how many people oh, are occupying those units. It is off season. Some of these are owned uh, by people from out of state. Uh, but there are a number of residents in there that we went through property records and saw a lot of homesteaded property. Right now, an urban search and rescue teams are working their way through that rubble. And as you look at that video, you can see the floors and the balconies just pancaked. Of course. Uh, every chief's worst nightmare, the unimaginable. Uh, we've been woken up many times, as we all have in, in police work throughout the years. However, being told that there is a, a significant condominium collapse with uh, the probability of mass casualties, certainly no one is ready for. Uh, but yes, of course, I responded immediately. Uh, we spoke to someone on the street who says he was able to see the backside and he described it like 9-11. The phone rang and uh, uh, in the town of Surfside it doesn't ring that time of the morning uh, too much unless it's something important. And on the phone was Officer Lovelet. He was the acting supervisor that day. Hey, can you get you can you get down to 877 uh, uh, Collins? Uh, the the uh, Champlain yeah. Towers, the back side of the whole building collapsed. I would say from the time I got the call I was out the door in about probably two to three minutes, left the garage, which was very difficult to drive in because the haze of the building having 
just recently collapsed and all the soot and all the debris that was still on the ground and the, the cloud was, the sky was gray. If you're standing in front of the building, it didn't look like anything's wrong. But where I came from, from the, uh, the, the north side of the building, coming southbound, it was very clear when I got there that uh, at least a portion of the building was collapsed. And then, uh, of course, uh, we got there, made contact with the officers. Fire rescue personnel were also on scene. They were arriving, I believe Station 76 was the first one there. 76, arrival at 888 Collins. We have a 13 story building with most of the building gone. We're gonna need a full assignment on this, everybody. Nobody in, I don't care who okay. they are. Is there anything we can do? No, I, keep everybody out, that's all you can you do. You got it. And uh, you could hear people you know, calling for help. Some people that were still in the building in the tower that were standing. Keep on screaming, bro. Screaming. And the officers were there, uh, shining flashlights up to them, you know, kind of acknowledging them and letting them know that uh, we're here to help you and the fire department's coming. I can tell you when I was driving in, uh, Harding Avenue was lined up with over 50 fire trucks on both ends. When I finally got into the town, right around 91st Street was the last fire truck. There was a little old lady who had used her car to block traffic and was directing traffic into the residential area. Um, I ended up relieving her, made a quick phone call to my old agency, and within minutes they sent me two officers to deal with that traffic post. We had multiple jurisdictions here assisting us. We immediately had the city of Miami Beach, which literally this incident occurred on the border. So they were obviously also receiving 911 calls immediately after the collapse. Oh my God! What was going on? Oh my God! Yeah, someone's Champlain Tower. Something's going on here. You got to get us out of here. I think the roof collapsed in the building. A bunch of us are in the garage, but we cannot get out. By the sunrise of that Thursday. I had spoken to practically every chief in Dade County, offering their assistance to me and the town of Surfside. We know that Miami-Dade Fire is there. They're going to call the world to, to deal with this incident. Um, the next people that we need to call is obviously, you know, our big brother and sister, that being Miami-Dade Police Department. Uh, and I, I went ahead and called the FBI. You also have to re keep in the back of your head is right now is not the time for you to become emotional because you have to try to stay focused on the mission. And the mission at hand is that life safety thing and stabili stabilizing the incident. It's gone. It's gone. The whole back of the building is gone. As I st stood there on the corner of 88th Street and Collins Avenue, and I look up and see a portion of the building, knowing that I probably knew some people in that portion of the building uh, that have, have perished. I know that those firemen went into a collapse situation where there was a structure standing and without hesitation entered that structure standing to rescue people. You're looking at a ladder truck. It's cutting through some sort of rail. I can also take you up a little bit onto the balcony of this. Oh, we're actually watching a rescue right now. You can see these uh, firefighters. It looks like they may be pulling someone out of one of the units right now. The Miami-Dade Police Department assumed control pretty much of the reunification center and, and dealing with the loved ones of folks that now have people missing. And, and in this case, other folks who lost everything. We had survivors who, who just escaped in the middle of the night with what they were wearing and days after this incident saw their remaining structure uh, demolished and they lost everything. This morning, the remaining portion of the Champlain Tower South has been reduced to rubble. I worked in the Detective Bureau at some points in my career, and, and I've had to make death notifications, which, you know, a lot of us have, and, and we know how difficult that is. I need to call that back part that collapsed, how many people do you think were in there? I want to say I, at least, I, 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 I probably 40% uh, of that side was filled. In this case, there's been 98 families that had to be notified. There were loved ones that had to be notified by the same detectives on multiple occasions 
because entire families were lost in this collapse. Uh, parents with little kids and those next of kin, it wasn't one death notification. They were having to be told, we found the seven-year-old today. Then three days later, we found the five-year-old today. This is a small community. There was 136 units, I believe, in this condominium. Um, everyone has a connection to this condominium. One of these stories that, I, that has touched me the most and I just cannot believe is, we had one of the urban search and rescue team members locate uh, his own child. And the latest heartbreaking development, the body of a seven-year-old girl found and carried out by her father, a firefighter who's been helping with the search since the beginning. He stood side by side by some of his other fellow firefighters while we were able to uh, bring her and then at least give him an opportunity to say his farewells. The first probably 24 hours, it's, it's almost like, I know it's probably a cliche, but it's almost like a robot. You're just, you're just going and, and we in law enforcement always revert to our training. Do what you're taught to do because the time for emotions will probably come later. And of course for me and uh, having lost friends in that building, uh, that time came you know, a few days down the road with my family. Three of the employees that were there, one of them only has about a year and a half on the police department here. He's a young man. And, uh, and I've had the opportunity to see some videos. You can use the word hero, heroic, whatever it is. As I watch those officers on the, uh, the videos that we have within the agency with the Body One Camera Program, it's uh, it's amazing to see what they did. Police! Um, I just had a body center tell me that the uh, part of the building collapsed. Is anybody down there injured? Uh, the safety of themselves were at risk when they were trying to locate and help people. All right, guys, we're here to save lives. Sir, 90 Thurton Collins, I'm going to get the rec center open for you. Guys, 90 Thurton Collins. Yes. I understand. I need you to go that way. Help, you're you. And advise if you need a tech channel. I don't know if that'll help with fire. I don't think they have our tech channels, but you do have Indian Creek and route. I would have never in a thousand years thought that an incident like this would happen in this little tiny town. And I think our planning, our training, uh, the leadership that we have really showed uh, what we were able to do. And it's heart-wrenching to know that uh, we all are going to go home tonight. And there's still families out there that uh, will never see their loved ones again. The only thing that I, I still think about day and night is really the folks devastated here. Uh, the many lives lost. Now that we're seeing it on surveillance video, it is shocking, chilling, eerie, scary to see how fast that building went down. Some way too young, some family treasures uh, that, you know, grandparents that, that, that will not be here again to be seen by their grandchild. That, that is the one thought that uh, does not escape my mind. Also feeling for the folks that have lost everything, that, that from one day to the next are left without a place to live or uh, anything that they possessed. <laughs>